Okay, so if you have a Lowrance fish finder, depth finder, whatever, and you're, uh, you've noticed that when you push the connections in on the back, uh, it, it, it pushes back. You're compressing air inside that waterproof connection and it's pushing back. And so some of the, some folks say to kind of burp it, you push it in and hold it and hopefully air will squeeze out beside the O-rings. But what if that doesn't work? What if you can't push, you, you push your connection in, it comes right back out and you can't get it to work? Well, here's a quick tip. Okay, here's my Lowrance. And as you can see, if you take this, here's an O-ring around this connector here. And if you push that in, it pushes right back because you're compressing air down in there and it comes right back. And the same thing with the power, push the power in, pushes right back. So you can't keep it in there to keep your unit on. So what I do is a straight pin. Just put a straight pin down in there. Now we'll push this down in. It's good and tight. And now I can use a pair of pliers, needle nose pliers, to pull that out. And now that connection is in there solid and waterproof. I'll do the same thing for the transducer wire. Line it up. Push it down in there and it's, it's in there good. Solid. So now, pull the pin out. Now everything is rock solid. All right, so let's test it out now. Easy. Hope this has helped you. Make sure you make it to church on Sunday.